want to thank the, um, the seniors that played the uh, last game in Memorial Stadium. This this is um this is a tough one. You know, to, to be in control of the game like that. We we gotta do, we got um I gotta do a better job of getting them to close people out. And that's that's gonna happen with maturity and doing a better job. But I'm take the head off to these kids, you know, just a a good character group, group that's not gonna quit. I told them today they're a better football team when the day I met them in December. And we're gonna continue to get better. Day in and day out. And we're gonna come back next week and we're gonna play hard again and look for a different result. Just didn't happen today. This one hurts. Quickie, is there anything at the end of the game would you have liked to have done that, that drive different? The one you managed, uh, the one where you guys couldn't get the first down and you had to punt it right back to him? Yeah, we, you know, we just, you run the ball and you, and you lose two. You just not block it clean. So we try to, you know, get it in there. You know, right there, you got to, like you say, I got to get them, I got to, we got to teach them to close them out. How can we close them out? Coach, I know you haven't seen the film yet, but your impressions of the running game or lack thereof today? Yes, it, it just hadn't been there. It just hadn't been there. Um, we've been having trouble with it. It's been, a, it's been week in and week out. You know, you got to play with the guys that we have. We can't, we can't trade them. You know, but so we gotta we gotta figure that out. That's something that we have to figure out. Did, did you guys choose to, to go? Uh, did you guys have the choice for the wind there in the second half? Well, in the second half, we didn't want to give them the ball and the wind. How tricky was that wind just to manage the game flow and knowing when you have it one way and then have it the other way going against you? I don't think the effect of the throws. I thought it was the kicking game that affected. So we just, you know, with Brian, we say, hey, you got to hit this one. And I um, mean, caught a line drive on one of them. The wind caught it and it caught a line drive. So it was based in the kicking game that the wind gave us trouble, you know, throwing it. I thought it was okay. That field position that you had on your last offensive drive before the final minute on, on the fair catch at the, at the 10 or the 11 there, would you like to see him run with that one? Or? Yeah, it's, it's, it's safe. So it's safe. We don't have a return set up with, with safe because you're trying to make sure that they don't hit us with a fake. So it was safe. He did what he's doing and what he's coached to do. Mickey, how would you assess the, the defense today? Um, you know, they played 70 snaps. Just do their performance to, and how it finished, I guess. Well, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of snaps when, when the team's running the ball at you because eventually it'll start leaning on you. And that's when you got to play complimentary football. We got we to gotta get all three phases to go, but we got we to gotta keep the ball on offense to give, them a, to give them a chance. So that's not just on them. That's, that's on the entire um, scheme of things. Mickey, what did you say to Casey today? Well, I thought Casey went out and he hadn't practiced, you know, in a while. And I, I thought, you know, he came out a little rusty the first play. I think he opened up the wrong way. But I thought as the game went along, he settled down a little bit. He was a little antsy at times, but, you know, I thought he, he made some good throws. I thought, you know, just any quarterback, you're going to miss some. But I thought he, 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 he saw it better than um, I thought he was going to see it today. Any hey. um, update on uh, Buford? Yeah. Sorry. Yes. Um, well, he's seen the doctor. We, we'll know more tomorrow. We'll know more tomorrow. No, they said it was ugly, though, so I didn't see what happened. You, you again got pretty big contributions from a couple of true freshmen on defense, Malcolm and Ernest. What do you think about their their future and the way they play against that opponent at least in this this kind of environment? Well, I, I you know those kids play hard. Those kids are two really good football players, you know. And you know you you got to make sure we sit down with them, you know, sit down with them at the at the end of the season and see see what see what they're thinking. But um, I just two good kids though, so they'll be back to come back next year to get better. Coach, I mean, talk a little bit about the senior group. I mean, you touched on it, but since you've known, I mean, there's been a lot that gone through coaching changes, COVID, and IL became a deal. I mean, talk a little bit about the group since you've known them. Well, just a, a, a great group of guys, great character kids, just just great, great, great players, you know. And um, they hadn't they hadn't gotten um, the wins that they wanted. You know, but they, they come in this building every day, never negative, always positive, and they come in here to work. 
and that's that's what you appreciate from them. And if if that's the type of team that you want, you want a high character team that no matter what they're going to come in here and give you work. But I take my hat off to them, and we're going to miss them. Coach, is the first full game with Whipple up in the, the box. How do you think the communication was? Oh, I thought we we have some veteran coaches down there with with Donnie Applewhite. Back, you know, so we have some in cast, we have some veteran coaches, so that was in their first rodeo of being with the coordinator in the box. But I thought it went good, not, not, not going to be fixed overnight. But the offensive line, like, what, what do you think needs to just kind of transform there so that you know your running backs aren't getting hit for your line behind line scrimmage? Well, we, you know, we got to get some depth, we got we got to put some competition up there, and you know, you heard me say, be, say before, we, we got to get a competitive roster. And, and um, you, you got to get some depth up there. You got to you got to have 16 to 17 guys that's on scholarship to get some depth. To, to, you know to get them going because you know they rotate in defense alignment. You got to be able to rotate those kids. But you know what? Those kids come out here every 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 practice and they practice hard and they come out every game and give it their all. Yeah. Earlier in the season, you know there was a conversation about well Nebraska's offense scored 42 and the defense gave up 45. But today that kind of reverses. How do you how do you talk to a defense that fought its guts out? But, but ultimately, it's on the field for 37 minutes because the offense could hold on. Yeah, you don't have to talk to them because we, we talk, we're a family. We're not going to point fingers. So we, I don't have to talk to them because I know where they're thinking. They're thinking like this. We got to hold them. And the offense is thinking like this. We got to score 16 points. So they, we don't, we're not going to, we're not, we don't blame the fact, we don't put, play the pointy game. We're a family. We're going to stick together and we're going to fight through this. Anything else for Coach? Thank you.